Hello and welcome to this video where we'll explain a little bit about Ocean Templates. Ocean Templates is a way to organize and to streamline the measurement collection process and analysis. Um, comes well into play when we're doing standardized procedures, for instance, following a preventive maintenance uh, procedure or uh, doing a yearly inspection or a test. The alternative traditionally has been to collect the data manually and uh, do the manual calculations to see whether or not a system is pass or fail, or keying it in manually into an Excel uh, spreadsheet and do the calculations from there. Uh, with Ocean Templates, that process can be done in one step. We can integrate the, that evaluation into an Ocean Template. And to explain, I think we'll try to um, give you an example of what it can look like. Say that you've built a library of different templates suited for in different tasks and different tests. You uh, build them into a library and a folder structure so that uh, it's easy to, to navigate. That can then or could be placed under a button called Favorites, for instance, where you can organize those templates uh, the way you need to. Here we have a, a small collection of, uh, of sample templates which we can choose from and they're all standardized. So could be templates and tests for linearity, reproducibility, um, accuracy, HVL, whatever needs to be done that is already prepared uh, in, in the Ocean software. In this example, we'll try a simple one. We'll look at the KVP accuracy test. Uh, if we have the professional version of the Ocean software, we can also utilize the database that we build up uh, in it, uh, where we keep records of site information, address, contact persons, room designations, uh, serial number for, for um, uh, generators and, and uh, tubes in those rooms and other equipment in, the, in those rooms, which we'll then keep track of. So if we then have the professional version, we can from there select a site uh, where we are actually now performing this test. And in this example, we'll say that we are in room one at RTI Electronics. It's a rad room we've designated. And as we move along, we can then add information helpful to whoever is going to run the test. For instance, this test, which is a KVP accuracy test, will be using a MACO R with an RF probe, which we incidentally have prepared right here. Echo with the RF probe. Um, and not only do we get information about the equipment to be used, we can also add information of how to place it and if we need to have, a, if there are other probes or, or cables that are to be used for a specific test to help the tester perform the test the same way every time. So this is the way to place it, all right, we'll then place it like that. There we go, we've placed it, we've followed the instructions, and now we arrive at the test view, where we see that this is the setup to your left, that's the set values, we've followed those instructions, SID is where it should be, um, and as you see the green is a variable set data. So the first exposure now, we've followed all the instructions and we're ready to go. We've got a green light from the software, so we just need to make the first exposure at 50 kV. And uh, now you see the set value has changed to 60 kV. We change the technique and make an exposure. Seventy KV, and we also have the possibility along the test procedure. If something uh, needs to be uh, changed, we can then pop up a, a hint that will help the tester uh, perform the test properly. So we're now at eighty. And the last exposure. 
90. We've done the five exposures. The system is giving us a pass for all of them. And um, the pass is determined by the plus minus uh, 5% pass fail limit that was for this, for this test, which is uh, customizable, of course. Once that is done, we, have a, we, can, we can produce a report immediately after the last exposure with information about the site, where we are, uh, the department we're testing it in, the room, we chose number one, room number one. There's a small summary, what, was, uh, what, what went on, and here is information then about the tested equipment, which that data comes then from the database. The serial number of the generator, serial number of the tube, the measurements that we performed, and how those plot out in a graph, uh, and if it's pass or fail, according to the plus minus 5% uh, pass fail limit. There's also information then about the, the test equipment being used for this specific test. And of course, this then can be saved, the data. Press the save, we save as, we can call it uh, Marco template, call it at Marco template test. And um, we have that saved in the database under RTR Electronics, department number one, room number one, and here is uh, the measurement file. If we want to share it, we can simply right click and export. And uh, this is then the, the, the measurement file. We can export it either to our file server or as an attachment to an email and um, share that with colleagues or maybe RTI support if need be. It will then come along as an attachment to that email. And whoever receives that will be able to, to see it the way we see it in, in Ocean next. So I um, hope that shed a little bit of light on what the benefits of using Ocean templates uh, can bring. And if you like more information, please visit MyRTI, where you'll find more uh, information, documentation, training, and also videos to help you along. Thank you very much.